Hello, Daz here with Daz Locks. What I have for you is the last lock in this uh, contractor grade series. It's basically the same lock. It's the two and a half inch round body with a 7 16 or 11 millimeter boron alloy shackle. The only difference is this one has a two inch spacing uh, from inside to top of the lock there. Now this one uh, has such a strong spring to unlock it. I have to, I was, of course I move up on tension wrenches. My stainless steel one was, I had to put so much pressure. I'm guessing that it was splitting the bottom of the core and pushing it up against the housing. So I had to move to a top of the keyway, 50 thousandths pry bar for tension. And I still had to put so much tension on this. I'm actually putting a bend in this pry bar. Now, since I'm going from the bottom, I am going to be using my Tron from Sparrows. It gives me a nice little bit of a kind of a medium lift. So let's get lots of tension on this sucker. One, seemed like a bit of a click. Two, loosen up a bit. Two, nice click out of two. Three, click out of three. Four, I think that was four and five nothing out of five one is binding oh one one is loose two is loose three is loose four is binding come on four five Four, three, two, one, two, oops, I dropped something, three, four, there we go. So that unlocked it. That's still such hard tension you have to put on there. Oh, wow. So let's get this back in shape here. Oh, okay. That's a lot of tension you have to use on this thing. Now, I guess I should show you that the key works. There's actually really decent bidding on this. Low, high, low, high, low, high. High is protected by lows. All the way down. Key works fine. I don't feel the amount of tension that I do when I'm using the key compared to the tension wrenches. But uh, this lock has been raked a few times. Mainly with the city rake. Because I have to use top of the keyway tension, it's hard to get this behind the top of the keyway. But I'll give her a shot here. I'm not going to try too much. Because it either goes right away or it doesn't. Yeah, that's not going to go. Sometimes I've picked this and not realized it because my tension wasn't hard enough to move it over. Now... One thing that does work is this one. This one is combable as well. Now I had to kind of pyramid the tops of all these because the spacing is not equal to the spacing on there. It's not exact. So here we just make sure, and this is a five comb bar, just make sure they touch each pin. I kind of get the five pin into there. Then I bring the rest of it up, and as soon as it touches the top, you can see that it turns. Now, for some reason, the pins hold it in place. I just got to be very careful here. And there, now I can, I've grabbed it. Holy smokes. Ugh. There we go. So yeah, a round body lock, that's combable. I've never seen that anywhere online. Uh, that's a new one to me. But let's take this apart and see what we have inside. I don't see it being any different. The core being any different from the other lock. But let's have a look anyway. Oh, wow. 
Come on. There we go. Holy man. Let's get this screw out. It's a standard Phillips. Oop, there's the core. Put this heavy lock over here. There's my gut tool here. So I turn the bottom around. So that it sits in the bottom of that keyway and just push the top because that kind of helps so that it slides right out now we shall take the key and i think it worked this way last time and there was there's a bit of a i think it's that little ridge if i put a core shim in here It would probably release better but I find if I just give it a pop it kind of just lets go so I'm gonna guess I haven't opened up this one but my guess is why these are combable is because the key pins are so short compared to the top here see how high that keyway goes to actually where the keys are in here or the yeah the key pins and let's get these driver pins out these are all standard by the way absolutely standard and some of them are super short just like the last lock I don't expect these to be any different that's a standard Two is a standard. They're all exactly the same size. Three is a standard. And they look like they're beveled on either end, which makes the shear line quite a bit bigger. But yeah, if you use a comb bar on these locks, you can open them up quite easy well it takes a lot of hand strength and you got to know what you're doing but uh, there's the key pins I am working on getting a better camera so that I can zoom in on the pins but uh, that's that lock there the next video will be kind of a wrap-up on all the locks but uh, that's my video uh, thank you for watching